Hello everyone and welcome to the DevScopes YouTube channel. Join me today as we learn some tips and tricks to enhance the user experience on your Power BI reports. So, let's get started. My first tip for you is use consistent colors on your entire report. You should be very careful about it, since well-chosen colors help the users to understand your message quicker and represent a story you want to tell. Look at this example. Uh, to quickly apply design changes to your entire report, you can use Power BI Report Teams. To do that, you can click here on the View option and choose the theme you prefer from the existing ones. For example, this one. You also have the option to add an existing theme, uh, clicking here on Browse for Themes option, uh, or uh, search for more options on Theme Gallery or customize your current theme. My second tip for you is use simplified visualizations. Look at this example. Here we have two different visuals representing the same data, a bar chart on the left and a pie chart on the right. However, the readability is different from one to the other. As you can see, the bar chart is better to present the data, as the pie chart contains a large number of slices and may be difficult to read. Before choosing the visuals, you should consider what message you want to tell your users and what is the best and effective way to show your data. Tip number three, alignment. Alignment is also a very important, important aspect you should consider on your reports. To make it easier, we have great features to help us. Here, under the View tab, we have two options, Grid Lines and Snap to Grid. The option Grid Lines enables these lines that help you align your visuals. The Snap to Grid snaps the different objects and charts to that grid line. These features are useful to make sure all the visuals are around the same size and evenly distributed across your report. You can also click on the visual you want to align and then align it with the help of these red dashed lines. If you have many items to align, you can press Ctrl on your keyboard and select the items you want to align. Then you can select the Format tab here on the header, uh, Align and choose the desired alignment, for example, Align to Top. You can also distribute your visuals uh, horizontally or vertically. Tip number four, use certified visuals. We have different visuals here on the visualization pane and we can get more if we click here on, uh, to get more visuals. However, the certified visuals are these ones here with a small blue badge. This kind of visuals uh, follow secure coding patterns and pass at quality tests. So, they are safe and reliable to use on our reports. Tip number five, remove unnecessary interactions between your visuals. This is very important as you can better control how viewers experience your data. Let's consider these two visuals and see how they can interact with each other. So when I click here in one of these bars, uh, the visual will filter out the bottom one. This happens due to the type of interaction that is enabled. To see what type of interaction is enabled between your visuals, you can click on the visual and then on the format option and next edit interactions. On this right corner, you can see the type of interaction that is enabled. In this case, the filter option is enabled. 
When I disabled this option and choose another one, for example, this, this one, the interactions between our visuals will be different. As you can see, clicking here in one of these bars on the top chart fades out the bottom one and only highlights the part of the bar which is applicable to the clicked element. Finally, if I select this option here, no filtering happens between elements. As you can see, if I click on the bars in the top chart, the bottom chart won't be filtered since we didn't apply any interaction between our visuals. I hope you have enjoyed these quick tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content.